The lines drawn early in history. This was a separated community and it was divided by the train tracks. Have left a mark. This area has a lot of history. On people. They're just indicators and the white is a sketch. This is the east side of McKinney. And places. The silo sits at the entrance to the east side. People don't pay attention to the detail. The push-pull relationship of layers. But if physical and figurative lines can divide, they can also connect. Everybody's talking about it. He wrestles with it, that ultimately he's judged by, by everybody. Guido Van Helten. I tell him I got a very strange job. Has an impossible job. An Australian artist who's charged with redrawing the lines. I'm very particular about colors and shapes. They are enormous canvases to work on. The old concrete grain silos, a towering vestige of the past, but more importantly to the people here, an entrance to McKinney's east side. There's a whole community here and, and there's depth to it. Historically home to black and brown families. You can mix skin tones from just two colors and blue. He looked at the community that we are. The first time I was wondering, is they gonna put some color to it? Guido spent months just learning. I always kind of feel like it's the second home, this space. Documenting, uh, finding. As many seats. McKinney. You know, so. <laughs> the artist is amazing. To me, it feels like it's the first day at school and I don't know anyone. And no one knew him. He took hundreds of photos around town to find one. This was a moment in time. She's a She's giant. A giant. Mm -hmm. The girl whose picture he captured one Juneteenth and whose gaze now captures a city. Oh, it just melts your heart. I see a celebration. And she's like, come on, come on, mama. To many here, it is a perfectly placed invitation. Allowing us to be reflective of what we've become. He's just fantastic. Guido! And it bends the lines drawn so long ago. I can always look back, now I'm gonna look forward. That's what I get out of it. I want people to see themselves in it. It is one thing to identify with the mural. But seem like I know her too. It is something else to be its identity. A lot of people have a lot of interpretations of what it means. Zoe King. People are just astounded that it's so realistic. A smart and humble 15 year old. That gaze that you get is so powerful because it's noticing you. Never saw Guido take that photo. I didn't even know that the painting was going on at all. Never knew she was being painted. I turn, I look, and I'm like, well, <laughs> there's, there's my face. <laughs> but she did know it was never about her. It's obviously more than me. It is what she represents. There's no lie in those images. This is McKinney. And this. This is what I felt. This is what I came across. Is her city. It's almost like a new beginning to this side of McKinney. It's always been home to me. Even 30, 40 years down the track after the paint fades. East side, west side. And any lines do too. I want people to feel it, read into it more, and feel something from it. In McKinney. This is home. This is home. I'm Jobin Punnicker.